you're a you're a mighty hard man to track down these days well i'm really not so hard to track down uh it's just a little hard getting through to me if you haven't heard we're in the middle of an epidemic here yes i uh i heard about it your wife told me a little about it. did you know i'd spoken to her yeah yeah she told me you see i've been in the middle of a uh, quarantine here for a while yeah, well, well why don't we talk about why i called okay why well um things have gotten um pretty critical with me you see and uh, i'm gonna have to say that information about your son after all so uh and i'm gonna do it right away i want to just uh, work out you know what way we can get together well, I'm not even sure we can. See, I have no idea when this epidemic is going to be over, and in case you haven't been following the reports, all non-essential traffic in and out of Port Charles has been stopped by orders of the state health authorities. That went into effect last night. Yeah, I heard about that, but that, does that include the area where your wife's staying? Glenville, yeah, yeah. It's within the radius they blocked off to keep the fever from spreading, so that makes it a little difficult for us to arrange any kind of a meeting, wouldn't you say? No, no, I don't think so at all. I'll get through if I have to. Don't worry about that. I've gotten two tire security places and a bunch of state uh, health authorities can put up. I just want to make sure that your wife's got the money when I, uh, when I come in. Yeah, well, she understands and she's prepared to meet with you. She'll have the money and she'll see you if I can't get to you. You just show up and you'll get what you want. I just better get what I want, James. Okay. Hello? What do you say? Well, he's... He's coming back, but as usual, he wouldn't say when. How's he going to get through everything? He's closed off. Well, that doesn't seem to worry him too much. He said he can get into town one way or another. And he's uh, willing to go through with the meeting with Heather if I can. Oh, thank goodness. She got that money up to her the other night. Yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, thanks for arranging all that business. Yeah, that's all right. Now, I would think you would be a little more excited about this than you are. I mean, all the trouble you've gone through and all the screw-ups you know, I know how much you want to find out if he knows anything or not yeah, yeah I, I guess I should be a little more excited by it but for some reason finding the carrier of this epidemic is foremost on my mind I wonder how he feels Jeff I think everything takes a backseat in our lives because of this the thing that scares me is that maybe we won't be able to locate him well if they don't this whole town is going to be one big isolation unit, cut off from the outside world and with little chance of help because of the limited supplies of that plasma. Oh. I, mean, I can't even stand to think about that. Let me go back out there. Sure. I spoke to Mr. Jarvis over at the uh, public health department. He told me only seven new cases had been detected here at the center all day. And that's from reports of over 50 doctors who have examined hundreds of patients each. Isn't that wonderful? Well, yes and no. It's good that it's on a decline, but it might also mean that the carriers left Port Charles. If that is the case, then we run the risk of other cities becoming infected. No, they can't have happened. I hope not. I hope not. Have, um, have you spoken to Rick today? Yeah, just briefly this morning. He sounded optimistic for the first time, really, because the plasma shipment had arrived. Mm, well, I'm sure they're all relieved. I spoke to Monica a few minutes ago. How is she? She's very lonely and exhausted. Yes, I'm sure she is. Uh, look, what I wanted to tell you was that if there's anything that you and Laura need while Rick is stuck in that hospital, all you have to do is call me and let me know, okay? Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Alan. I will, if we do, but right now we're managing just fine. Good, good. Excuse me, uh, I've been assigned to work with Dr. Quartermain. I'm Dr. Quartermain. Please come in. Does that mean I'm officially relieved? Officially. Dr. Quartermain. Thank you. It is all yours. I'm going home. Will you, uh... Give my regards to Rick when you talk to him? Yes, I will. And will you do the same with Monica? Yes, I will. And give my love to Laura. Yes, sure. I'll see you tomorrow. You take care, Leslie. Bye. Bye. Maybe I should have been a doctor instead of an apartment store rep-rupper. I see you've got some relief. That's great. Yes, and I'm going to put it to good use. I'm going to get some rest. Uh, how about a bowl of soup first? Um, uh, thanks, Rick, but I, I don't think so. Well, what can I say to convince you? I would love for your company, and then I'm going to take, take off for a couple hours myself. I'm just exhausted. Please, go on, join me. Um, okay, you talked me into it. Okay. So, 
Well, we're just hoping now that it's really over. <laughs> I don't think anyone could take much more of this. Oh, I'm sure. <gasps> oh, Colleen, I just thought of something I want to ask Rick. May I speak to him, please? Oh, I'm sorry. You just missed him. He and Monica got in the elevator and went off. They both look really peaked. I don't mean to be. I guess it's just a strange feeling of suspension. It gets to me, no matter how hard I try to fight it. I, I don't understand. Well, it's hard to explain. It's, it's like the world just stopped when this quarantine was imposed. It's so strange. It's, it's unreal. I mean, look at the people here. Most of these people are, well, they're perfectly well to go home, back to their lives, their families, but they can't leave. That's true. I guess it's the way for the people outside, too. I mean, they're isolated from the rest of the world because of the traveling regulations. As though we're all just stranded on an island. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Monica, those compulsory examinations are keeping this thing from spreading any further than it already has. eerie feeling I have. Don't mind me. I think we're all feeling a little weird these days. Maybe a couple hours sleep will do me some good. Yeah, fine. Who knows? Oh, that reminds me, did you, did you see the papers today with Mitch Williams' picture plastered on them? Yes, I certainly did. I also saw Tracy's fine hand in it. I mean, how can anyone try to make political capital out of a disaster like this? There are always people who try to get everything they can from any kind of a situation, no matter how grim it is. Little foxes who eat the vines and the tender grapes. And Mitch Williams is one of those. And Tracy makes two. Hey, you two having a break? Yes, yeah, I'll try please, to. Please, sit down, Tracy. I will for a few minutes. Oh, boy, that Don sure loves to sing and play that old guitar. Oh, it's nice that we have him with us to entertain. Patients. Oh, yeah. He's great. And, you know, I think that guy's done more for morale around this hospital than anybody else that I know. Well, Jesse tells me you've done quite a bit to entertain the troops, too. Oh, well, what else have I got to do these days? I think you enjoy it. You know, Rick, I, I, I do enjoy it. In fact, it really makes me feel good. I mean, I feel so sorry for these people when I get a chance to cheer them up. Why, I love to be able to do it. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. Thanks for letting me join you. See you later. It's our pleasure. I'm going. Join us. Go. Up. I just came up here and went back to work. Sorry to hear that. I saw Lee on the way in. He seems to be doing a lot better, don't you think? Oh, yes. I'm really pleased with his progress so far. You know, it sounds as if things are under more control on the outside now, too. Yeah, that's really a hopeful feeling, even for Steve. You know, we've only had five new cases admitted since uh, 3 o'clock. Thank God. You know, everybody seems to be responding well to the plasma. The supplies holding out. Yeah. You know, I've been in on this thing from the beginning, and I'm really praying that we're starting to see the end of it. And I got a feeling that uh, there's a possibility that Dr. Lombard's theory that the K-1 
carrier has been healed through some natural physiological process of the body is what's behind all this. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if that were true? Every chance you get. Ew, it's not the same thing. I'm seeing him. I'll be... I am beginning to think that everything outside of this hospital just doesn't exist anymore. Including Alan. You know, I close my eyes and try to remember what it feels like to have his arms around me, and I can't. I mean, I've tried to remember all sorts of... Oh, Gail, I'm so glad I found you. Lee's been asking about you. Oh, he's all right, isn't he? Oh, he's all right. I think he's just a little lonely. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go right down and see him, thank you. Look, uh, Gail. Um, could you just wait a second, please? Steve? Hmm? I, uh, I'd like to ask a favor of you. Before I say anything, though, I want you to know it's only because things are going so, so well up there right now. Of course, Monica. What is it? I'd, uh, I'd like to transfer from isolation back down to my regular duties in cardiology. Well, I'm really not surprised at your request, Monica. I've noticed a tension in you since you've been up here that I've never seen before. Well, I, I think that's uh, largely due to the fact that I was tired and emotionally drained before I even volunteered. And Well, I guess now it's just getting to me. I, I'm sorry. Oh, please don't be sorry. I am. Uh, I appreciate what you've done for us. You've been through the worst part of it. Well, thank you, but uh, please know that I... Well, I'll stay here uh, as long as it takes to find a replacement. Well, I'm sure we can get someone to take over for you before the next shift comes up. Well, I guess I'd better get back up there. Yes, well, I guess that's me too. Audrey, I'd much rather you stayed right here and tried to get some rest. Mm -hmm. And I'd much rather you did the same thing. But all the arguing in the world isn't going to change that, is that? No. Uh, no, don't try to persuade me either. All right. How's that, Tommy? Oh, he is such a funny thing. <laughs> What's he done now? Well, when I called him to say goodnight, he was very stern with me. And he uh, wondered if I was taking my temperature every day. And he asked if I was taking my vitamins, too. Mm. Oh, no thanks, Audrey. Look, you did what you had to do. Steve understood. Just don't like giving up, Gail. I mean, not when I... I see you, I see Steve, Audrey, everybody who's managed to work up here and not let the pressure get to them. Listen, we all react differently under different tensions. Well, I'm not proud of my reactions. Well, you should be. You should be very proud of what you've done up here in this floor. I'm still quitting, Gail. I don't believe that. Because you never would have had to leave this floor if we hadn't had some encouraging news from the outside that the worst was over.